Okay, then. Having one big sale today. You can't find prices lower than here. Which ones? Thanks for coming. You should. Thanks for coming. You made up your. Uh, thanks for coming. You made up. Uh, thanks for coming. Thanks. You uh, thanks for coming. Which uh, thanks for coming. Which you thanks. Which ones? You should. Thanks. Uh, thanks. 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 You made up your mind. Thanks for coming. You got everything you need. Come again, yeah?
I see you back. I'm used to being accosted by people, but recently I had an interesting encounter. It was a young man, not much older than you. Do you know what he said to me? He said, thank you. I'm not proud of this or anything, but I couldn't care less what our customers think. Don't you know who I am? I'm the president of a company that sells fake products. But then he told me he quit his part-time job and was going to study to become a public prosecutor. He wants to punish businessmen like me for bending the rules. He said I was an example of a negative role model, even though I wasn't aware of it. Maybe I'm overreacting, but what if he does become a public prosecutor and puts me behind bars? I suppose that means I wouldn't be able to give you my advice anymore. My shareholders ought to take a leaf out of that boy's book. Apparently, it's these days aren't as naive as we thought.
Hello there. So, um... detected a gaze upon us for an estimated seven minutes now. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to watch. Was I bothering you? Thanks. I was just curious what it's like to study for an exam. Um, is it alright if I study with you? If it isn't too much trouble, I mean. My data states that elementary school does not feature regular examinations. Is this information inaccurate? No, you're right. We don't really have tests that we need to study a whole week in advance for. Sorry, um, if you're not okay with it, I can just... Oh, thank you! I'll go get my workbooks now! Next question. What is the term used to describe the property of having zero electrical resistance? Oh, I know! Superconductivity! Correct, Amada-san. I, I just happened to see it on TV. It was an ultimate technique in Featherman. Not that I care about that stuff. Oh, sorry, Koromaru. I guess I was being a little loud. Let's get back to studying. It appears that Amada-san has entered a state of non-REM sleep. He is in a deep slumber. Sleeping here may cause his body temperature to decline sharply, risking illness. Shall we wake him? Understood. I wonder what kind of dreams Amada-san will have. Let's transport him carefully to prevent waking. I will accompany you on the way to his room.
Precisely. Right then. I decided to hold this study session for us to concentrate on the upcoming exams. Amada, I invited you to join us so you can focus on your own studies. Your presence is welcome here. Thank you for inviting me. I'll make sure not to be a bother to everyone. To the rest of you, I want you to set a proper example and take your studies seriously. <laughs> Are you going to study with us, Korochan? Good boy. Koromaru-san says that he will accompany us here as we study. Well, aren't you a little hard worker? Unlike Junpei over there who can't stop yawning. <sighs> I can't really deny it. Wouldn't mind being in his place right about now. Dogs never have to study for exams like this. Man, what a life. <laughs> have an obligation to study, but he has another important mission. True. He's been protecting that shrine this whole time. That sounds like something far more difficult. Guess if you want to be a dog, you'd better develop some diligence, like Koromaru here. Being a dog is harder than it seems. You'd be better off just studying, Junpei-san. Oh, stop! Don't look at me like some pitiful creature! All right, that's enough chit-chat. Let's concentrate on our studies. All right, I think we can begin wrapping things up. Good work, everyone. And Iori, after all the dog talk, I do hope you were able to get through the material you needed to cover. Uh... Woof? Oh, I see. So you're still learning, then? As a dog, I'll need to give you strict behavioral training. Yeah, I'm kidding! It was a joke! I'm totally cool being human. No training needed! I'm good! That will conclude the group study session. It is time for a much-deserved rest.
take your time. everything go Day, a woman came to my office asking for a donation. Quite the looker, I might add. In fact, she was very much my type. But no matter how attractive she was, I was repulsed by her dedication to charity work. the very word. Why should I have to give my hard-earned money to a bunch of freeloaders? I pulled myself up out of squalor to get where I am today. I wanted to get back at the ones who used to laugh at me. That's what I always dreamed of, anyway. But, to tell you the truth, now I have too much money. Profits are booming. 
I'm so busy, I don't have time to spend a yen of it. Maybe I should train someone to take my place. I could teach them my business philosophy and management techniques. It'd be a carbon copy of me. It would probably cost me a fortune, but if it works, then it's easy living. <laughs> hmm. How would you feel about being adopted? Only joking. People would get funny ideas if I took in a child as old as you. Donate for the sake of the less fortunate, huh?
Uh huh. Hey. Oh. Hmm. Like this, I guess? Welcome. I'll be taking care of you today. Are you ready to order, or do you need a little more time? Hmm. It's too bad the school festival got cancelled. I already went to all the trouble of putting this on, so maybe I should wear it around the dorm for the day. Hmm. Sup, Yucatan? Hey, does that mean you gotta call me master? What's going on, Takuba? You planning to work at Mitsuru's mansion or something? <sighs> Forget it. I've been meaning to return this, but now that I look at it, it's a real uniform. Huh. It's not just a costume. Oh, I should take a picture before I give this back to Senpai. Yukari-chan, are you there? I need your help with something. Sure, one sec! I know! I'll drag Fuka down with me. At least then I won't be alone in the embarrassment. Yukari-chan, those clothes. I've got a couple spares if you want to try one on. How about it? Huh? Um, wait. Don't worry. Just hold still. It's a little tricky to put on, so it'll be faster if I help. Um, wait! Yukari-chan!
I was hoping you could watch me as I make the coffee. Thank you. Okay, the beans are freshly ground and accurately measured. The water is about 90 degrees Celsius. Now, the pace and angle when pouring the water are really important. All right, here I go. Pour slowly and quietly in a circular motion. You'll know you're doing it right when it starts smelling really good. <sighs> it's not exactly what you'd get at a cafe, but I think I've improved a lot. There's so much to consider when making coffee. I get why people are so particular about it. Um, I know it's a bit weird to ask at this point, but when do you feel like drinking coffee the most? Well, that does seem to be common for a lot of people. The taste and smell are a signal to start the day. It's sort of like flipping a switch in your head. When my mom was still alive, the house used to smell like this every morning. Now I realize how often she'd make coffee, even on days she was busy. I saw on TV the other day that smells and memories are linked closely together. The smell of coffee reminded me of my mom. But in your case, I wonder if it'll remind you of the times we spent here, drinking coffee together. In that case, I'd better practice and treat you to another cup while we still have time. It'd be pretty sad if you only remembered my coffee being bitter. I feel like I haven't gotten into something like this for a long time. I also think it's helped me practice staying focused. Maybe it's because I've been doing it so diligently. Anyways, thanks a lot. Because of you, I think I understand the taste of coffee a little better now. Besides, if my mom liked it, I'm sure I will too. Oh, there's still more if you want a refill. I've gotten a lot better now, so I hope you'll join me again sometime. Next time, it's gonna be even better than it was today.
Let's go out to eat. What do you want to get? Oh, I want a frog burger from Wild Duck. <laughs> Come on, let's go. So, the other day, Mom and Dad, they talked to me about why they were getting divorced. It was sad. But I listened to the whole thing. Did I do good? <laughs> Thank you. So, Mom and Dad, they said when there's no love, it's hard to stay married. But they said not to worry, because they would love me no matter what. So I told them, it's okay if they get divorced. It must be hard to live with someone you don't love. Hey, so I have to choose if I want to live with mom or dad. Who do you think I should pick? Hmm, I don't know what to do. Oh, if I go with mom, I might have to move somewhere far away. Then I won't be able to play with you anymore! It's no fair! I miss you too much. You better get home. Hey, will you hold my hand on the way home? Looking forward. Very well. ran into some unexpected trouble. All right, here goes. Back me up, would you? I'm gonna make pancakes. Think you can help? I guess you could say I've got a craving. I used to eat them all the time at the orphanage. I know they sell frozen ones nowadays, but nothing beats freshly cooked, right? So? I just thought more would be better than less. Well, let's go on and get started. Okay, uh, first things first. Uh, what exactly do we do first? Uh, I, I think the recipe said to use lots of butter and to regulate the pan's temperature with a damp washcloth. Wait, we put a washcloth in the pan? Won't it burn? Uh, 
You sure? <laughs> but thanks. Now, I don't know how to cook anything besides the stuff I use for bodybuilding. I can break the eggs and mix the batter. I'll leave the actual cooking part to you. Oh, so that's how you use the washcloth. How about we add some protein powder? Hey, don't look at me like that. Oh, <laughs> I'd better go get the plates. All right, I think this will be enough. Oh, check it out! Wow, look at all the pancakes! I knew something smelled good. Yeah, just give me a minute. We can eat once I bring them out. Would you mind getting everyone else? <laughs> and don't forget Amada. Okay! Oh, it's like a Tartarus of pancakes! Did the two of you make all of these yourselves? Yeah, although this guy was the one who cooked them. I said I had a hankering, but we might have made too much. I like pancakes, but no way I can eat all of these myself. If you guys could pitch in, that'd be great. So you like pancakes too, Sonata-san? Thank you. I can't wait to have some. I'll make some tea. I've got some leaves that'd be great for the occasion. It's pancake party time, as they say. Mm. 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 For as many as we made, they sure did disappear fast. Cooking's not really one of my strong points. A certain someone would always say, if you pour protein powder on the ingredients, then you shouldn't be in the kitchen, dumbass. Most of the time, I only ever got to watch someone else cook. So I never really learned myself. Anyways, thanks for helping out today. I'm hoping that cheered everyone up a little. Yeah, pretty much. They did things like this back when I was at the orphanage. I just wanted to recreate it. My sister used to cry all the time there. But the pancakes always brought a smile to her face. <laughs> Do you remember that medal you found in the package from my parents? My sister, Miki. She made that back when we were at the orphanage. Based on the letter that came with it, I guess my parents found it when they were cleaning. Miki was gonna give that to me, after we learned I was getting adopted out and leaving. But then that fire happened right after. And this metal was all that was left of her. Apparently, Miki used to always say she wanted to thank me for being so strong and kind. She was really quiet, and she'd always be following me around. I don't really remember doing anything special for her. But I guess she was relying on me as her older brother. Seeing that medal made me think, would my sister be proud of who I am now? Am I really strong and kind enough to deserve that medal? If I'm being honest, I don't really know what it means to be strong or kind. Everyone who's ever said that to me has left without telling me the most important part. You saw how I was today. This is all I'm capable of right now. I haven't grown at all since I was a kid. They'd laugh if they saw me now. Maybe my sister would say that. But you know not everyone would cut me that much slack. I realized I'd just been running away all this time. Making excuses about having my own problems. But from now on, I'm gonna protect it all. We promised we'd become strong together. I won't let him down. <laughs> Thanks, I really appreciate that. I'll be counting on you next time. <laughs> the point of this whole thing was to cheer everyone up. And yet I'm the one getting supported here, you know? I think you're the kind of person my sister would have looked up to. All right. That's enough talking about the past. Let's hurry up and finish clean. <clears throat> well, 
<clears throat> I ran into that group of punks on my way home from shopping today. There were even more of them this time. And one guy managed to get a good hit in. Don't worry, though. I didn't do anything that would get me in trouble with the police. <laughs>